today we are going to be driving a Tesla. All right. So today I will be driving a Tesla Model S long range. Um, this is just a demo that the local Tesla here is doing. They're allowing people to take these home for a night or for 30 minutes or so. Um, but I got it on Saturday. They're closed today on Sunday. So uh, we're gonna go drive it around and see what it can do. up there quick makes my Mustang feel slow I'm gonna do a little drive in this and then uh, I'm gonna make a separate video just going through the screen and playing with the settings because I haven't really messed with anything and on um, the screen over here like the games and stuff so I'm gonna go through all those with you guys if any of you have never seen it or um, just want to see what's in there um, the Model 3, I test drove the Model 3, it was a little different because it didn't have the dash, um, obviously, but I think it had similar stuff in here, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm new to the Teslas. I don't like the blinkers on the steering wheel, it took some time to get used to. I mean, they're not bad now that I have been driving this for the past day, um, but the Model 3 has the normal traditional blinker stock so that one wasn't too bad I do like how the uh, camera pops up when you turn on a blinker that's kind of nice to check your blind spots um, this one does have the self-driving it's not enabled because this is a demo vehicle I'm sure they don't want people using it uh, but it does have the autopilot so you can turn that on and it gives you like this Mario Kart Rainbow Road setting um, and you can turn your blinker on and it'll check and it'll switch lanes for you and everything So that's pretty neat uh, It's it's honestly like it's a really fun car to drive um, And If I had the money for a Tesla to be honest, this isn't the one that I would buy um, and I'll go over that in a separate video of why I wouldn't buy this one. Um, there's just there's just a couple reasons why. I mean, if this was my only car, maybe. But um, with me having, you know, a muscle car in the garage, I, I wouldn't choose this as my daily driver. As far as, like... Um, I've seen reviews of Teslas and the panel gaps and rattles and the ride quality and as far as that goes the ride quality in this is great to be honest I don't there's no issues with it I didn't see any bad panel caps uh, panel gaps on this or the Model 3 no um, rattles there's no, there's no like loose panels there's nothing nothing that I noticed on this car that would persuade me from not buying one of these um it's honestly an amazing car um, we're gonna go through this neighborhood i guess don't know where i'm going exactly find a spot to turn around we'll turn around right here Uh, put it in reverse. It's weird. You just slide this down It kind of threw me off the first time I was in it I'm not like Like I like the screens in these newer cars and I like how some of the stuff runs through them I'm not a fan of Everything running through the screen like the glove box you have to go in here to open your glove box. I mean I Get it. They're trying to clean up they're trying to clean up the uh, interior of these and make them nice and simple and minimalistic. But 
to what point does it actually become inconvenient um, you know like what what's wrong with just having a button on your glove box um, going back to the build quality one thing I just thought of is the doors on this model s specifically i don't know about the other models i didn't really pay attention to the model 3 when i was test driving but the doors on this they you you kind of have to close them pretty hard to get them to close um otherwise they just won't close it's actually it's gotten annoying because i have to close it like two or three times before i can finally get to close but that's really the only flaw that i can seem to find in this car um, it's really a great car. It's awesome how Tesla is just letting people take these home, you know, and just drive them around and see what they're about. I feel like they're trying to defend, I guess, everything that the media has been portraying on them. Um, which, you know, I'm a Tesla fan, like, American-made car they're uh, so far the quality of this is pretty good and it's a blast to drive I mean check out this acceleration like you do not get that in any other you like there's no combustion sports car you can buy out the lot that has that acceleration unless you're gonna spend a hundred and twenty thousand dollars which I guess at the same time you're gonna spend a hundred thousand dollars on this car um, so, but it's, there's no gears, there's no shifting, it's just instantaneous power. And it's absolutely amazing. I do like the huge map on here. That's a, that is definitely a nice feature on this car. Um, but while I'm, while I'm talking, before I go into just the silent uh, POV drive, um, if you guys could like and subscribe to this video, that'd be great. It would help me out. Um, just because I'm trying to build up my YouTube and I'm trying to turn into a car channel because that's what I like. Uh, so that would definitely help me out if you guys could subscribe because I see that, you know, I'm reaching 3,000 people, but I have 45 subscribers. So, you know, it's kind of kind of sucks seeing that. So help me out, guys. I appreciate it. Um, but anyways, we'll... We'll go ahead and continue with the uh, silent drive.